All right, folks, on this week's episode, I got a special guest with me. His name is Virgil. He works where I work at, and he just moved here recently from Florida, so he wanted somebody to show him around the area. He's not uh, familiar with the fishing areas around here, so I decided to take him a few places today. We're going to hit up two spots. We're hitting up a private pond right now, and then we're going to go smallmouth uh, wading later on. Oh, God! Got him! Got it. Oh yeah. Big crappie. Oh yeah. Yeah. There we go. That didn't take long. Yes. All right, folks. I had just turned the camera on, just threw this pole out, and already got a crappie. Oh man, that ain't bad. He's about eight or nine inches. Little guy, actually, but still decent. Not bad. Already got our first fish. Like two minutes. Yeah. Anyway, uh, showing him around Missouri because he's a grew up in Florida. I already told him he's going to be disappointed in the Missouri bass compared to Florida. In Florida, where he lives at, it ain't worth bragging about if you get a seven or eight pounder. You know, because they they get up to ten down there. So I say you won't ever get one of them up here. But. He's, uh, as some of you know, Florida don't have smallmouth. So hopefully I get to have him catch a new species for the day. And he said he's never caught a pickerel either, and there's pickerel in this lake. So I'm hoping I can get him on a pickerel as well. Man, that didn't take long at all. Man, it's because nobody fishes here. Oh, too heavy. Yeah, or, too thick, the hole. Oh, it won't go through the eye, yeah. Super small. Got one. Oh, yeah. All right, folks, another crappie. A white crappie this time. Man. Not bad. Dang, we should have started keeping these. I put them back here though, cause since I fish it a lot, yeah, yeah. that's a little one there. He's still eight inches, seven. All right, we got one black and one white so far. Got my drag a little too weak, don't I? Screeching. That was biting my crappie jig. There went my minnow. Yeah, that's a spotted gar. Oh, I'm definitely gonna have to add the pliers. Well, at least something finally ate the damn minnow. <laughs> Ooh, I ain't getting that back, am I? Oh my goodness, yeah. I'm gonna have to cut it. Alright folks, I got a little spotted gar, or it could even be a short nose, I think it's spotted, little guy, he's about just like a pound or so, different kind though, we, yeah, 20 minutes there with nothing, almost had me fooled thinking it was a pickerel, I got a little room to throw this a few more times. Hey folks, uh, Virgil just caught the biggest warmouth I've ever seen in my life. It's bigger than hand sized on a minnow. That is awesome, man. That's a warmouth. Oh gosh. That is nice. I, I've only caught one that big, maybe. It looked a lot bigger at first. How oh, happy. Hmm. He, he caught a big old warmouth. They only get about, the record is one pound. What? Yeah, that's big for a warmouth. Wow. They got blood red eyes and they usually have an orange 
flap right there. He, he's kind of yeah, lost yeah, it. You can see a little bit but of it. But they got blood red eyes. Oh, wow. It's like a mix between a goggle eye and a green sunfish. That hmm. is awesome. I wonder if that was what hit it earlier. Like yeah. Just, uh, I just had it like a couple inches down Man. right here. Never caught one on a minnow. Always hmm. on worms. Worms and little two inch grubs. That is cool. Yep. Something different anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's decent. I know it seems small, but that's decent for that kind. That's yeah. considered big for them. Weird. Right by the bank? Yeah. I was literally like this. Just like this. Just caught another personal vest. That's two in one week. I caught my personal vest gar on Sunday. And now I just caught the biggest war mouth I've ever seen in my life. I thought his was earlier. Uh, yeah, about the same, ain't they? This one's real thick though. Doesn't it seem real fat? This is my personal vest war mouth. He's longer than my hand by about an inch. His tail comes down past my wrist. Wow. Dang. That is so cool. Folks, I've never, I've caught war mouth a lot, but I've never caught one bigger than my hand. I, my the wind blew my bobber all the way to the bank in this weed line right here and all of a sudden I seen my bobber just go down underneath the moss and he was luckily on there and that's where he caught his too was right by the bank man them are nice gosh alright folks I'm going to get him back so I can uh, get him another time that is a nice, that's big for a warm mouth. I know you guys, they, they don't look big, but they only get a pound. So that's big for a warm mouth. He's probably seven inches. Wow. Two personal vests in one week. That gar I caught Sunday was 38 inches. That was out of that place I showed you on the way here by the rice fields that little creek my god i wasn't even paying attention i was trying to light a cigarette maybe because it's shade right there folks we was walking away getting ready to go grab our stuff and go to the car and i was you know walking out the exit here and i cast it to the shaded area caught another black crappie he's this one's decent he's about nine and a half ten inches long on the pink and green twister tail. Now that's a nice one. That's the beginning of them being keeper size. All right, well, we're gonna head to 10 mile and start fishing for smallmouth. He's never got to catch a smallmouth, so I'm gonna put him onto those. We, we just literally did not catch a fish for 45 minutes. It's getting real hot. It's in the 90s already. And they, this fish was right up in that shade. I really wanted him to catch a crappie. Folks, we are at destination number two, the smallmouth stream. This stream is designated as a special management area. It is a trophy smallmouth stream where they have to be 15 inches and you can only keep one. It's very nice and cold and it feels great. Feels really good right now. I got him! I got it! I got him! Oh yeah! Oh, it's a big one! Alright folks, I got a snapping turtle here. It's a common snapping turtle. I just wanted to catch it to show you guys. 
He is not happy. And I'm probably, the smartest thing I can do is cut my line. He knows it's in his foot. I really shouldn't be stupid enough to put pliers anywhere near there because I'm going to get my hand cut off. This is a common snapping turtle. And uh, hopefully I can get this out without, uh, without having to get the pliers. I just wanted to get you guys a good view of it. He's not real big, but he's decent sized. Just to show you what this thing can do, it would probably bite my pole in half. Oh, he sees me now. He's angry. Yeah. Look at that hole up there. It's real green and deep. Got the snapping turtle, a different one. There ain't no way that other one followed me all the way down here that fast. That's a common snapping turtle. Folks, I'm going to try to get him off without pliers. See how good I can do. Oh boy. Yeah. Yeah, I switched up to that crawl bed and I at least had stuff coming up to it. Oh yeah. So better than when I was with that other I think that's gonna be our magic hole right there. That looks deep. We'll finally get into him right there. Hey buddy. I just wanted to do it just to get it on video, basically. You want me to hold that? Yeah. Oh. There you go, buddy. <laughs> He's not too happy, is he? No. Nope. Like, what the fuck is in my foot? <laughs> I just haven't caught one of them in years. I snagged them on purpose. I was gonna say, did he like go after it and then like end up getting caught? Mm -mm. I, of all places, I snagged him in the foot. I was trying for the head, but that's actually better where I snagged him. Oh yeah, they're whipping me. <laughs> Two to nothing. Well, I, yeah, because I don't count the turtle. That wasn't a fish. All right, folks, I caught a green sunfish. It had me fooled. I switched to a kite tech swing, swing impact swim bait and thought it was a smallmouth at for the first three seconds. Because it had some pull to it, then it, then I could tell it was just something real tiny. So, well, well, it's a good sign this might work, though. Nothing else I couldn't catch anything on. So we're gonna try it. It's a holographic color, so since I'm fishing real clear water, I figure it'll work. There we go, smallmouth. I'll show you one. It's not a big one, but hey, we finally got one. Boy, it's a lot of work sometimes. This is a pretty small one. He's maybe eight or nine inches. It's still, oh wow. We could have came right to here. They get yeah, about three inches bigger would be considered okay. 12, you want them to be 12. They gotta be 15 out of here. To... Now they'll have blood red eyes when they lay their eggs. And they're real pretty certain times and other times dull. It's kind of a dull one. Sometimes they'll have like bars. Right, right. Pretty cool. All right, folks, got our first smallmouth of the day, about eight inches. And I was standing in the water up to my waist. Wondering if I was ever gonna get one. I think I found the lure now. Finally. Well, the reason is that hole goes all the way over there. I figured the only way I can get over there. I don't know how far I want to go, if I want to go much further or not. I figure if they ain't here, something's wrong. <laughs> 
what I should have done. I tried to and I forgot I didn't have it on. All right, folks, I got the second small mount of a little six, seven incher on the Kitex wing impact again. Sight fishing right now. It was just a little three foot deep hole with a tiny log and some shade in it and he was in there. Might be one more. He's the only guy. One lonely fish. But we're going to end up finding something eventually. Actually, that don't look that bad right there. Oh, man. A little better. Ten inches, man. Eh, nine. Another small mouth. It seems like the large mouth are in here, but they're, it's like one out of ten. All right, small mouth number three. He's a no, nope, not an improvement at all. It's the same. Seven, eight inches. But it's a fish. We ended up not having a bad day. We had the war mouth, crappies, the gar, the turtles. There you go, throw in there. You, I think you might be able to get one. Maybe. It's deep enough to have one or two. I see sunfish, but... Oh, there you go. <laughs> All right, we got him his first smallmouth. I told him where to throw it. And he goes, I don't know, but he did it and got it. This is uh, Virgil's first smallmouth. He was up, this hole's two feet deep and he was in underneath this tree. It's small, but we're, hey, it's a, he's got red eyes, yeah. Blood red. <laughs> now we got him. Two kinds of fish you haven't caught. <laughs> yeah. That's why I mean they'll surprise you where they're the all the the reason we're not seeing the big ones is because they're hiding. Yeah. And there's they're in the real big big deep holes too. We're gonna find one eventually. I'm trying to find one just like earlier, just something like that. <clears throat> no, not really. Yep. Oh. Got it. Goggle. No, small mouth. Now that is an improvement, maybe by one inch. Right in the middle of the afternoon. Well, have we caught three in the last five minutes? Gosh. All right, folks, smallmouth number five altogether for us. Another, this one's nine. We just ain't getting the giants today. There's some big ones in this river. We just ain't found them yet. There's definitely more than one back there. Where I caught him, you got a good chance of getting one. I know there was more than one. I could tell by the ripples. Oh my God. Oh, oh God. It's pretty deep over here. Just one little spot deep enough to have a couple. About five foot deep, but it's a root wad. Oh, he ripped my tail off. Oh, shit. God. Oh. There's that root wad he darted out from that. You have to get it at the right angle. You go ahead because mine's tore up. I'll go over here. You kind of want to make sure you go on the left side of that one stick sticking out, though, and you then you bring it back. He'll dart out from there. Maybe he'll give you a chance. 
you'll see him just dart out and nail it. No. Man, I can't believe he ripped my damn tail off. I don't even know if it'll work. I guess it might still work. Not very much action, though. <coughs> No paddle tail. <laughs> I was like, just like that. And he came out from... Like that. Oh. Oh, you got him through the wood. That was awesome. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> the same size every time, but hey. At least it's better than not catching any. We ain't getting no trophies today, I guess. It's like everyone's twins. Nine inch right. twins. Alright folks, smallmouth six, nine inch. With no tail. I guess it works. It still looks kind of like a worm. What do they call them, a Ned rig? I always see the videos for Ned rigs. Remember minnows there. Might be a little spot, right? There, you ain't getting off this time. Keeping tension on you. Green sunfish. Oh, well, I'm going to have to get this rock out. That's a little better, but those things, they, them, now green sunfish can get about a pound and a half. They get pretty dang big. Just typically not in a river, though, but a pond they will. All right, folks, green sunfish. I got my revenge on him. He got off. All right, folks, this ends our day. We're going to head back. We're severely both dehydrated. Uh, we didn't have a, a great day, but we didn't have a bad day. Uh, three crappie. We each caught one warmouth that were really big for warmouth, and then I caught the two spotted gar. A um, couple green sunfish and orange sunfish, and I think between the both of us, we caught seven smallmouth or maybe even eight. Just nothing of any real size here, but it was still fun. Felt good to be in the water. And just go somewhere different. Ouch! But, uh,. Until next time, hit that like button and please subscribe. Whew. Not too bad. Hell, if I would have thought about it before...